And we're live. Thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. This is Force from Iron. I'm Gatesy, that's Duke. Uh, please don't forget to drop a like on the stream, as always. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know it makes sense. What are they doing to that bell this week, Duke? Um, I think they should kick it. Can they kick it? <laughs> yes, they can. <laughs> Can we kick it? I'm there. Yes, we can. I'm there. I'm no longer wanting to be mischievous. Rub bollocks to it. I'm just gonna. And I'm, I'm, I'm not mischievous. I mean, little bit in the in the you know little little droppings. Now I'm gonna go for it now. Bollocks. He's, Pardon my he's, he's, no swearing. He's, he's, well, yeah. Um, there you go. Anyway, um, small matter of a Premier League match that took place yesterday at the King Power Stadium. The weather didn't look great in that one, did it, Duke? Good game for Ducks. Hey, listen, I won't like you, Rob. I love playing in that. Yeah. Love playing in that. The wind swirling, the rain hammering down so hard that, you know, it stung your skin when you hear all of that malarkey. Oh, I loved all of that. I absolutely loved it. You know, so I kind of, I mean, don't get me wrong, I can't imagine that the Premier League players, even in backs, I can't imagine that the Premier League players are essentially any different. Because I love it. I like I say, even even by the side in that in that weather's a, a hell of a lot of fun, you know. Yeah. Especially, I mean, I was a centre back, so you know, you you lump that ball up in the air and it's swirling around in that wind. You don't know whether it's going to go twenty five foot behind you or stop inches from where you've kicked it, kind of thing. So, yeah, I mean, listen, it it, it made for a it made for a good spectacle. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well. <laughs> let's um let's get the uh the lineups we'll go we'll go straight in with this we won't sort of stand on ceremony too much so that duke and ladies and gentlemen at home was the starting lineup that david moyes put out now uh, you'll notice a, a very glaring omission from the centre-back position i think everybody was uh, expecting Zuma to play. They might not have agreed that he should mm. have done, but that's that's another matter. But I think most people were expecting him to play, and and he was in the initial lineup. So I'm led to understand. However, the game kicked off, and he was nowhere to be seen. Um, apparently, about of I believe, if I read right, gastroenteritis was that was that what you heard? Um, yeah, he had a bellyache. Hmm. <laughs> That's what I've got for you. Yeah, yeah. Gastro gastroenteritis is what we called back in the day as a bellyache. But from what I do understand, Rob, Mr. Um, Cox. he was hey, Mr. Cox, just speaking about you, yeah. all good stuff. All good stuff. Absolutely. Um, yeah, from from what I'm led to understand is that he'd already turned up and, and, and obviously he'd eaten away from the team um, during the, the, the pre- uh, the, the previous evening's, um, mm. you know, tea time, dinner time, whatever you want to call it. He he yeah. ate separately from the rest of the players because he wasn't feeling great. He, you know, he told Moises that he wanted to start and everything else, but he got out there onto onto the pitch and, you know, tried to warm up with the rest of the side. And it, it just wasn't happening. I, I mean, I've, I've, had, I've heard some comments um, during the game yesterday that, you know, is it... <laughs> Is it really he's got a belly ache or is he not feeling the atmosphere? Shut up. Listen, you you think he put, there's some people that think he might his, his bottle might have some gone. Some people yeah, some people think he bottled it. I, I honestly don't. I, I, I I'm gonna go with the club's official line on it. I mean I, I did watch a few of the, the images that, that people have shared online of him warming up and he doesn't he doesn't look comfortable. Um a couple of times he grabs his he grabs his midriff and stuff. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that, you know, it, it was probably a little bit of a, a sickness and diarrhea bug that's, that's probably knocked him flat and, and the reason that he pulled out in, in the warm-up. Mm. And, and to be fair to him, the guy that replaced him, Mr. Diop, I actually thought had a, a very creditable for performance. And I'll be the first to admit, you know, I've been quite critical. When he has a bad game, I'll, I'll say it. Um so by the same token, I have to try and be fair and even handed if he has a good, a good game. And I'm not saying he was a world beater. I'm not saying he was a 10 out of 10 performance, but he was solid enough. And obviously he got the assist for the Jared Bowen goal. I thought he looked, he looked pretty decent to be fair. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I watched the game um, at my pub. I had a visitor um, for, uh, I think the third Sunday running. 
from a, a Mr. Cyber. Mm. Um, he rocked up, he's his big looming self. A uh, lump of a man that he is. He's all of about six foot. It scares the shit out of me when he walks through the door, especially when I don't realise he's there. He's just like looming. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I had him and a, another guy. Um, we were watching the game, three of us, and um, I, the, the through ball to Jared Bowen's goal, I felt was absolute perfection. Mm. The pass was on the money, and and. Again, I was uh, I found myself in a conversation with a uh, good friend of mine, Neil. Uh, he popped into the club to see me today. And we spent a little bit talking about um Diop and, and 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 his um his lack um you know, his lack of consistent ability um at mm. centre back and, and I'll and I'll cover, you know, the second half in a bit. Um but if you remember rightly, Rob, a few months back, a few months back, we're going back to the season and before. Um, I called for the possibility of Issa Douglas. being moved forward. I, I, I got a call out for Issa to be moved forward into, into the CDM. CDM, role. yep, you did. Or, or, or given, given some game time at CDM because I feel that he's... He has a natural passing ability when he's played on the left hand side. I'd like to point that out. When he plays on the when he was sorry, when he plays on the right hand side, when he plays on the left hand side of centre back, um, there are more balls that go out of play <laughs> than stay on the pitch. But I, I feel that by putting him on on the image that you've got there, if we were to put him in the Suchek position, mm. I have a feeling he'd be a little bit more comfortable. You know, we know he can carry the ball. We know that he has a decent passing range on him. <laughs> um, Ian. I like it. I like it. Did Ken's you not see the one Ken's from Ken? One yeah, I saw Ken. Ken's oh, right, one okay. in. They're all at it. I love it. This is, see what we started, bro. See what we started. Um, uh, uh, I just you're a bad influence on was, me. I think by putting him in, in, in CDM role, yep. it's not that panic that he's the last man with the ball. And that, mm. oh! Kind of rabbit in headlight moment as yeah when he's put under pressure. If you if you stick him in a CDM role, I, I think he could probably develop into a bloody good CDM. I, I you know like, like I say, he's dominant in the air. Um, he's confident bringing the ball out when he you know he's a confident ball carrier, and as proved yesterday with the pass for Bowen's goal, he's got a range on him when when going forward, not left to right. Um, so yeah, I mean. Listen, I, I I will take my hat off to him yesterday, and if you know we do the um we do Simon. the we do the uh, the player ratings at, at the end, um, like we did the other day against Watford. Um, I, I I will certainly give him credit where credit's due. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just a couple of other little comments here from Rob Singleton. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, if West Ham knew Zuma might not play, why did they not take another outfield player rather than name another keeper? You may very well ask that, Mr. Singleton, but I could not possibly comment. Oh, and look who's look who's turned up. Uh, listen, don't worry, Chris. Life is life is busy. It's not a problem. Um, uh, I'm guessing you're probably busy with with something else because we discussed you coming on the other night. I mean, if if you want to come on, send send me a, a, a DM on Twitter. And I'll send you the link. Uh, but if you're tied up, then then not a problem. Uh, it, it's fine. Um, anyway, right. Sorry, before I go on to that comment from uh, from Kent. I mean, that team, though, before we sort of move on to that, is that largely what you was, obviously, Zuma aside, is that largely what you was expecting? Yeah, I mean, uh, just to quickly, uh, I'll, I'll quickly touch on Rob's comment there as well. I, I think that they would have been convinced um, <laughs> um, if if Zuma was convinced he was going to get out and play, you know, mm. in the days of enough to travelling out there, um, we might not have taken anything other than the, the, the second goalkeeper up with us. I don't know. I, I don't know the situation. I'd like to think well, that. Have you heard you about know, Randolph today? By the way, uh, is Avraf Avraf expecting Kitty? Yes, congratulations to, yeah. to Mr. Randolph. Um, I do, I do feel sorry for him a little bit. I still think he's good enough to be a a quality goalkeeper for 
um, someone in the championship. I don't see why he needs to be sat on, on our bench or, you know what I mean? I, I, I think he's good enough to be playing. But that being said, um, congratulations to Mr. Weber. Mm. Gonna need the extra money and have a mouth to face. <laughs> All right, Chris. No, no, no problem, bud. No, no problem. Yeah, we won't. We won't. Be end it's fine. Quick. Yeah, no probs. But okay, let's move on to Leicester's starting lineup. So that was Leicester. They lined up in a four-three-three formation. Um, again, um, what were your thoughts when you saw the the, the lineup that? Brendan Rodgers put out. Were you were you thinking? Were you feeling confident, or was you an apprehension um, around the, sort of like any of the selections that he's made? What were you thinking? I was scared witless, to be honest with you, um, and, okay. and rightfully so. <laughs> I like it. Uh, uh, listen, a point so. away from home, no. A point away from home yeah. is not a catastrophic result. Point away from home against Leicester, no. no we, sh- we showed um, our claws. We showed our teeth. And we had it put in a tigerish performance. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, my, 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 my fears were, um, well, they came through, Rob. If I'm honest with you, um, I, I called out Madison as being a key player for them um, yep. in, in the preview. Um, what I didn't realise was just how much of an influential player the guy on the other flank was yes. going to be um, in, in, in Barnes. And, and Patson Dacker, again, um, wasn't as influential in the game as I thought he was going to be. Yeah. You know, I think there was a lot of, um, a lot of running around from him and you saw that there was... Um, I agree with that comment, Ian. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to come to that in a second. Um, I, I, I saw some flashes of brilliance from him, but that pace is going to scare a lot of players, a lot of, a lot of centre backs, and he will get a bag full of goals for Leicester. There's no doubt, and I think he just needs to be uh, needs to be given that extra time. I think you know a bit like Watkins was. Um, <laughs> um, They're all at uh, it. What I will say is. After 20 minutes, Rob, okay, um, and I'm, I'm going to jump in here and go, you, you know, we've spoken about the goal, um, mm. you thought, and we would, uh, I thought we were dominant. Okay, I felt the first 20 minutes, we we had the game, but a scruff in it. We, yeah, um, agree. We were causing them problems going forward every time we went forward. And mm. in that first 20 minutes, there were quite a few that we went forward. Um, and then, very much, you know, Declan Rice, as Declan Rice does, you know, looks very affable. Just his day out, he's turned up, he's doing his job, he looks good, he looks full, collected. It's Declan Rice, you know, and, and we and we do we do take it for granted just what Declan Rice does for that team. We do take it for yeah, granted. Yeah, we've got, I, I really kind of got can't. used to it, haven't we? I can't over, uh, I can't um, overemphasize that. We massively take it for granted, you know. We've got too comfortable. But... We got the goal, and Brendan Rodgers, much, much, much like Italy in the uh, Euros final, mm. put pressure on Declan Rice. If you can go back a screen for me, sir. Uh, yes, of course. Click. What he did was he bought Barnes and he bought Madison further back. Hmm. After 20 minutes. And rather than uh, Dewsbury Hall and Tielemans pulling out wide, leaving Ndidi in the middle to deal with. And, and that's, how it, that's how the first 20 minutes played out. Okay. Tielemans and Dewsbury Hall were wider than that, that graphic. Gear. Yeah. That's obviously, they, they played more, not necessarily as wingers, but probably about, you know, maybe eight foot in from the touchline. They weren't exactly playing central. And yeah. what Rodgers did after 20 minutes was seeing just how much, that, um, you know, Suchek and Rice were comfortable, just how Rice was controlling. Um, he dropped Barnes and he dropped uh, Madison back um, and pretty much played across a five-man midfield. Yeah. 
And that fatness, pardon my French, that messed us up. That really put us, um, because we didn't change and bring back, you know, maybe ask Lanzini or even for now to drop in a little bit deeper. Yeah. Um, basically, you ended up with um, a solid three-man midfield, and I mean a compact three-man midfield in Leicester, starting mm. to overrun the two boys in midfield. And once that happened, once you had Barnes playing a little bit deeper, once you had Madison playing a little bit deeper, essentially leaving Daka a little bit isolated at times up front, I, I say, but the mm. boys breaking from midfield, you know, and they were breaking with three at one point. They yeah. were breaking with three joining, you know, be it Madison, Telemans and Barnes, where the Dewsbury Hall got out there and left one of the others back. And again, much like Gareth South in the World Cup, we didn't have, um, we, we didn't make the, uh, we, we didn't make the, um, the change quick enough to be able to add, mind the ambulances. There we go. Thank you. Um, we didn't have uh, the tactical change to be able to, to drop an extra man in. Um, and they, they started to, to gain a hold. Um, you mentioned something off, off air, Rob, um, which Ian has, uh, has put in. Um, this one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, that, that was... That was glaringly obvious to me. I mean, Kufal was getting rinsed repeatedly by Harvey Barnes down down that. I mean, I've got a graphic a little bit later on about how many attacks Kate Lester put down that flank. And uh yeah, it, it's um Kufal just didn't deal with it. And I'm and I, I saw something earlier today, and I, I mean I've been thinking it for a while, so this wasn't a totally unique thought. I'm I'm sure I'm I'm not alone and um thinking this, but I remember Sebastian Schemmel. Exactly the same position, exactly the same thing. His first season, he was absolutely brilliant. I I believe, if I remember correctly, Schemmel, and I think Kent will, will correct me if, if, if I'm incorrect on this one, but Schemmel was hammer of the year in his first season. And in the second season, just didn't look anywhere near the same player. Um, and I'm looking at Kufau, and because uh, he signed a new contract, didn't he? Yeah. So uh, there's a little part of me that's sort of like, is it the curse of a player playing for a contract, getting that contract, and then just sort of look at, you know, sort of kind of resting on their laurels a little bit, um, not quite attacking it with the same hunger, the same energy as, as they did when they were going for that contract and trying to prove a little bit of a point. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't, I can't put my fingers on it, Rob. But Fresh, he, but well, I mean, he was, he was rinsed. He was repeatedly, rinsed last night. Repeatedly, like, it was. Um, I, I was almost. Cheers, Ken. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I, I was, I was, I was relieved when when Frederick came on, I, because Frederick's had a bit of pace about him and might be able to get back to block the crosses that the man was getting in. I mean, you look at, I mean, I'll be honest, I've, I've got to go back because I didn't actually see the penalty claim for for their penalty. I kind of... Did you not? I, I got, no, I got Connor to run downstairs and change a barrel at that point, come back up and, okay. and they're lining up for a penalty kick. And I was like, well... And everyone I asked was like, I don't have this, it? Well, yeah, no, it was Stonewaller, mate. Stonewaller. Corner's, corner's been played in. And it was about two minutes from half time. So if if that if if Aaron Cresswell doesn't stick his arm out, very likely we get in one nil up, and it's a completely different team talk. Yeah. Different. Do you know what I mean? But the balls come in, and 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 I don't know what I, he must have misjudged the flight of the ball or lost it in the in the floodlights. I don't know. But all of a sudden, he's put his arm out like that, and it's hit him sort of there. It's, Penalty all day long, I'm afraid. You know, that his arm shouldn't have been there. It, that's as simple as that. So if it had been down the other end, I'd have been screaming for a penalty. And if it hadn't been given, I'd have been asking the question why. So I've got to be fair and even-handed about it. It was a penalty. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating. Like, like you say, I mean, I kind of... 
episode when we us just realised something sitting well, up above your head on the screen above the above the time on what I'm looking at, I've just realised what you've put. <laughs> you took your time. <laughs> oh, stop, <no. laughs> and he's back oh, in the room. You're a bad man. Um I know. I'm well, going yeah. to hell. I'm going to hell. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I've got to say, um, it's a concern. Um, I, I, I'm in agreement with with Ian. I don't think he can play on on Saturday. Yep. Um, the time's kick off Saturday. We're on telly again. Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. Yep. Jay's yeah. gonna have to work. I'm, I'm gonna watch it. Today. She's gonna have to work. I don't know if she knows it yet, but. Um, Johnson has to play. I agree with with him. Um, you wouldn't go with Fredericks. No, I. No, I'd I'd, yeah. I'd go with Johnson. Saying yeah. that, no, maybe not. No, I might go with Fredericks. Okay. I might go with Fredericks. The reason I go with Fredericks, Fredericks is pace against um. Saint Maximan. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's exactly, exactly what I was there. thinking. That's the graphic yeah. I was talking about. Look how many attacks came down Leicester's left, our yeah. right. 44% I mean, of their attacks. Once, once they realised... Once he worked it out. Yeah, exactly. Pizza. Yeah. yeah. Um, once once they worked out that that was where it was coming from, um, it, that's the blame, the obvious, that that was, you know, and, and their they're, they're goal came from that, Rob. Mm. They're, they're second came from exactly that. Um, what was yeah. it, 50... I think it was only the 57th minute, wasn't it? That I got uh, what, the timing timing of the second goal? It was the yeah. 57th. Yeah, as I say, it was 50, late 50. Yeah, again, mm. you know, he stood up and, you know, like Ken says there, uh, the worst bit of defending from Shafal was the second goal. He got a bit... To, he, he's got to get close to his stand up cross. You know, you're right. And off off air, Rob, I, I spoke to you, didn't I? About um, I, I felt that the, the goal, their second, was probably the op's only mistake in the uh, in the game was that he was caught ball watching and being drugged towards the ball slightly. I think if it'd been maybe you know, two or three foot. Further back towards the, you know, towards Cresswell, where Cresswell was stood. Yeah, um, he would have won the header. You know, he was caught under the ball. If he'd been maybe two feet further back, um, yeah. he, he, he might have got a glancing header, which takes it away. Um, so, yeah, I think that was his only. I mean, Cresswell was never going to win that header. Cresswell was not the best, nah. um, you know, in the air. He's no. got to be, you know, six foot six. So, but Leicester deserved to be two one up at that point. You know, they 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 came out and we looked, we looked awful. Hmm. We looked absolutely poor. Um, oh, I agree. Know. I think they controlled the game for a good half hour, no doubt about it. But the one thing that I always had this little glimmer of hope. I don't know about you was knowing that Leicester have a habit of conceding late goals and we have a habit of scoring late goals, recovering sort of like from losing positions to get at least a point or possibly all three. And that was something that I was I was clinging on to. And obviously the clock was winding on and you do start to sort of doubt it a little bit. But Craig Dawson, 90th minute. And I know I have seen the tweet from from a certain Mr. Lineker, um, glorified potato salesman, um, who's not very happy and doesn't seem to know the law about handball, it seems, which I find quite odd from a former former World Cup gold golden boot winner and a current BBC footballing pundit that he doesn't know handball. Um if it's well, above the level of the sleeve. Players, yeah, I don't understand then why more players don't wear long sleeve shirts, right? But... <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I think that the, 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 no, it is actually just the, the, yeah, you couldn't extend the sleeve and get away with it that way. No, listen, no. they're saying it's, it's the end of the sleeve. It's the sleeve on the arm. No, if, if, no, no, but if you um, look on the IFAB protocol, they actually have a diagram of 
where it essentially yeah. is. So, and then it's you know, it's, it's here, isn't it? It's it's where this bit, yeah, it's where this bit ends. And Jesus H, what is going on out there? Welcome to Lewisham. Yeah, and because we're right on the main road where I'm sitting, my office overlooks the the main road. So yeah, I, every bloody two minutes. Um, yeah. That being said, um, Cam, uh, I, I, I've met Cam. Um, he 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 sent Twitter into meltdown earlier. I don't know whether he put it out there, but yeah, West Ham lining up for the game against um, Newcastle. I believe he put on mm. Saturday. Um, yeah. And he had us in a four-two-three-one. Uh, John. Oh, I, I think that ambulance went the wrong way. It's just Take come back to again. Take him away! Ho ho! He um he put that his. Let me see if I can find the original tweet because it was. It, I'm going to put Twitter in the meltdown. Where is it? Where, where, ah. Oh, by the way, eleven days until um. Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't Cam's. It was Deck. It was Declan. Declan oh. Rice. Reece. Go on, Em. Um, uh, he's got Fabian Singal, Cresswell, Zuma, Diop, Fredericks, Rice, Suchek, Ben Rahman, Lanzini, and Bowen up top as an individual striker, lone striker on his own. He's, uh, he's a bit Craig Dawson as a centre forward. Just <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, because he had to have it. Listen, yeah, he's up the ball in the room. Get the crosses in. Mm. I, 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 listen. <clears throat> Is that that's only his first league goal of the season? You know that, doesn't it? Is it? I didn't yeah. realise. Or his it. second. It might have been his second. Yeah. Um, Mind you, I've I got to agree with what Kent says here. Benny made an impact in, in his little yes. cam. He, he looked like he was he was getting the ball forward and causing a few few problems. I mean, all right, yes, his, his final shot, his final delivery maybe sometimes was. But he was having a go, wasn't he? Yeah, and that's all you can ask. I mean, listen, I felt... Yesterday was was one of Fornells' poorer games that I that I've seen um, Pablo have. Mm. I don't think um and 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 there's someone I don't know if she's watching, but she might not like me for saying this. Oh. Um, and if if she doesn't, it's tough yet. Um, I don't think Lanzini was at his best yesterday either. Oh, um, oh she's gonna hate you. I just I just felt that there was a lot of um. A lot of no shows yesterday, Rob, with regards to the performances of certain players. Mm. Um, you know, Bowen, I, I, I made a comment earlier, Bowen, he showed his industrialness as, as always. He never mm-hmm. stops running, you know. Yep. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine, who, by the way, is currently working for Manchester City. He's, uh, mm-hmm. he's, a, he's a goalkeeping uh, scout for Manchester City at the moment. Yeah. And um, I will talk to you off air. Later. Yep. Um, I was giving him some information. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spat it out. It's just it was a past conversation between me and him, and I don't know where it stands on on being shared. So I'm not gonna share it with everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, but he turned around and, and he said, "You know what, Bowen? Bowen shows uh, the old school love for the badge. You know, if you watch him when he scores." He's constantly tapping that badge. That you know, this club, this club means the world to him. I mean, you know, Liverpool came in with a bid during the transfer window. Um, we turned it down, um, and I don't think the boy wants to go. I don't think the boy wants to leave. You know, even if um, even if the offers come in for him, I, I still think we're going to get another year or two out of him before. Either he he decided he realizes that you know what we're not going to strip him with this board we're not going to do anything with this board and maybe it is time to call it a day and move on. Um, but I, I think if we can show promise and show strength, then that boy could be with us for a hell of a long time. Well, I dare say the father-in-law won't let him move anywhere, will he? Well, listen, the father-in-law will probably break his legs if he tries <laughs> to leave. <laughs> Um, I, I have to say, um, I'd, I'd be heartbroken right now if we get if we get to if we get to you know July, and yeah. August in that transfer window, and and Bowen ends up leaving. I will be, I'll be heartbroken, be gutted. Yeah. I, I literally will be. I, I, I will probably feel a bit like I did when Julian Dix was let go 
to go up to Anfield. Um, I will probably have that same feeling. I mean, there's my yeah. man behind me. Um, just having a look, just here, Duke. If I can just bring this one up from Ian. Poor performances. Um, we had a poor performance against Kidderminster. We had a poor performance against Watford, um, but we won them. I guess you could try and argue that the mark of a good team is a team that can play poorly and still grind out a result. Um, am I am I worried? No, uh, but mildly concerned. I'm probably more worried about the form of Kufau and Thomas Socek, if I'm being brutally honest. They're, and and Antonio. I'm going to drag Antonio into it. Those three are the ones that I'm looking at and going, ooh. But the problem is, is that well, who do, who replaces them? That's the problem we've got. We've got such a, a, a shallow squad depth. It's like, seriously, who replaces them? I mean, I, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I am worried. I'm not sure if it's a, um, you know, mid-season kind of ball lake, you know. Mm. But again, like you say, Rob, we are we are winning the games. We, we can't take away from, from that. We are picking up the points. That's a sign of a good team. Yep. You know, um, United used to do it. Chelsea did it. Arsenal did it. You know, play poorly. Sneak a 1-0 win. Get a draw. Not losing. Um, yeah, I... Sufal's performances don't bother me too much at the moment because we have more, um, we have the options. <laughs> we have the options at right back. I like it, Kent. I like it. Um, so I'm not, I'm not worried about Sufal. I'm more okay. concerned about Suchek and I'm overly concerned about Antonio. Now, I, I saw something on, online today, Facebook, one of the groups, uh, might have even been um, Kent Martin as well saying that, that someone is incredibly concerned about the fact that our striker, our goal scorer, isn't scoring. And someone turned around and went, oh, but he's making chances for others and you've got to allow for those... Um, you've got to allow for that. Well, no, I, I want my striker to score. Because when we're, even then, we're still not scoring the chances that he's making. Whereas if he was in the box for these chances, mm. chances are he would score them, as, as Ken says. He's, he's got the power to be in the box to score these balls, Rob. And, and unfortunately, whether or not it's Moyes' choice or whether you, you, Antonio just finds himself doing it off of his own back and finds himself drifting out left and right, and then putting crosses into an area where, correct me if I'm wrong, that's what you want your striker. Eh? You're welcome, Cyber. Not a problem, my man. Uh, don't worry about gifts or anything else. You listen. You get that. You get that camera. You have a good time. Um, you know, I, I want my striker scoring goals. And listen, I know we've scored um, just as many goals, if not more, at this point of this season as we have done last season. Um, but that's because they're coming from elsewhere. Antonio, this was a guy that three months ago, I'm going to be going for the golden boot. No, you're not. Mm. No, you're not. You know, and it's, and it's a concern. It's a concern. Um, that's, for me, that's more of a concern than Stufel and, and a little bit more of a concern than, than Sochek. But we, that, that something needs to happen for them boys. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on. Um, but that graphic is well, and th and do you know what? I had to take issue with someone, and they may be watching now or whether live or at their own leisure. Um, I had to take issue with so a, a comment that was put on the, the pre match, um, basically sort of having a moan up about that we're not good enough, um, to finish fourth. Now, maybe at the end of the season, we won't finish fourth, but right now, we are fourth. And yeah. they were turning around and sort of saying, oh, we'll, we, we will finish eighth. Now, OK, viewed through the prism of where we are right now, if we finish eighth with 13 games to go when we're fourth, would I would I be disappointed? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. Can't can't disagree mm -hmm. with that. But here's yeah. the thing. I've been a fan of this club 
since, well, 1983, I went to my first home game as, as a nipper, right? Um, I've seen us promoted. I've seen us relegated. It's, I've seen us lose an FA Cup yeah. final. Steady. Um, yeah. We've not had too many seasons in the top flight where we finished two, two seasons back to back in the top eight. So if we finished sixth last season and eighth this, taking that in terms of our history, that's actually a, a good period for us. Yes, it would be disappointing from where we are. But I'm not going to lie. But in ter- like I say, taking a step back, and if you understand the club and, and where we've been all the years that we've been, normally when if we finish sixth, the following season will be 13th, 14th, 15th, something like that. Mm-hmm. So we we have a certain amount of consistency that we're bringing to the table now. I don't understand comments like that. I really don't. Um, like I say, this this person may be watching now, and that's fine. Not a problem. It's your opinion. I get that. But I just look at it and go, if if you know anything about the history of this club and and what what sort of crap that we have churned out over the years you'd know that if we have two seasons where we finish sixth and eighth back-to-back, that's actually really good for us. Listen, I'm... I'm in a position right now to be able to... um, Exactly that, Ken. It would be. Yeah, there is. I'll be honest with you, that came up as I was... um, Speaking of young Declan, he rocks up. I've just paid him credit for his wonderful uh, team sheet of, uh, of Craig Dawson as our super centre forward. And he rocks up taking the beak. Uh, good evening, Happy. I'm glad you're here, darling. I hope the bubble bath is going well. Um, I realised just how that now sounded. And, and um, sounds a bit of a creep. But anyway... Thank you for the picture. <laughs> um, I, I, listen. Are you disappointed with the wrong. point? Are you disappointed with no. the point? Me neither. No, not at all. Not at all. Listen, if you said to me at the start of the season, um, you'll, you'll, you'll beat Leicester at home, what was it, 4-1? And um, you'll get a point at theirs. Mm-hmm. Good girl. Um, I've taken it. Now, that doesn't change the fact that they're 12. Okay, they're still a good side. As yeah. Chris alluded to the other day, you know, nine defensive players out injured, you know. Yeah. Anyone would suffer that. I'm not being funny. Our form shows that um, we've, we've fallen off cliff slightly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, We've fallen off cliffs like yeah. with our form. Um, it's just that we've had such a good start to the season that we've been able to facilitate that, that collapse of, of, of form. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I want to go back a couple, Rob. Um, just while we're here. I know, mm-hmm. actually, I'm going to come, well, come back to that. I'll start it. We'll come back to it towards the end. Um, okay. Because we're still, we're still talking about... Um, Obviously, the, the the game itself and the ninety minutes. Um, you said I, earlier. I did read that, Rob. Yeah, I did read that. But yeah, hey, like, fifty million for Diop. Yeah, he had a good game yesterday. But if they're going to pay fifty million quid for him, I'll I'll send him there. First class delivery. Do you want to know where that comes from and Go why on. that comes out like that? Go on. He's French, okay, and. There is a there's a premium at the minute on homegrown, home trained, you know, um, for the Champions League, etc. Um, having players that have been coached in your country between a certain age to a certain age and, and, and yeah. are your you know, um, because then obviously you can have a slightly bigger cup squad. Okay. And obviously, yeah, Europa, you, uh, uh, Champions League squad. And obviously, they're going to be losing Mbappe, um, you know, 
I'm not I'm not saying that you know we're going to get 50 million quid for him, but there's a reason that there's we can we can put a slightly higher price on to sell him to PSG or a French club than we would if we were to sell him to someone in Italy or Spain, you know, or Germany. So it's the same as Fornell was going back to Barcelona. We can command a little bit more, um, a little bit more money there. Um, yeah, there you go. We lose that game. Yeah, I mean, we've got to remember where we are. Um, are we overperforming with the squad we've got? Yeah, I think so. Fourth place. Yeah. Top of the uh, Europa League group, you know, 11 days until we find out our next opponents. Oh, 11 days until we find our, our next opponents. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we are over, we are overperforming. There's, there's no two ways about it. Right? Mm. We've got to be in a situation where, um, as uh, who is it that put it up there earlier? Where is it? You know, the form that Bowen's in playing him up top. We're not getting goals out of our striker, but this man, this man that was playing for Hull um, 18 months ago is, um, was 18 months ago, wasn't it? Yeah. He uh, is, two years. Um, two years. Two years. He is the best player we've had in a long time. And uh, someone shared a, a, a graphic earlier. Yes. He's got one, he's got one less goal. Than the hundred million pound man in thirty less games. The hundred million pound man. We didn't get that yeah. for him. No, no, no. Jack Grealish. Oh, sorry. Darren I thought Bowen. he was on about the other one. Uh, there was, there was one all time about stats in the Premier League. He has he has thirty less games, but only one less goal than a certain mm-hmm. Mr. Grealish. You know, the hundred million pound man. Um, no, I saw the one about Dimitri. Um, and listen, we loved Dimitri, didn't we? Until yeah. He started to get yeah. Um, what do you think of Dawson's goal, Mr. Rock? How did you How did you react to Mr. Dawson's goal? I, I I sort of cheered, and then sort of like because the celebration seemed a bit muted, and and there was talk that the commentator started sort of making noises about it possibly coming off the arm. I sort of put the handbrake on my sort of celebration. It was a little bit sort of stunted. Um, when I saw the replay, I'm like, it's hit him there. So that's that's a goal as far as I'm concerned. But unfortunately, I don't have complete faith in VAI. I don't think any of us do that that goal would have counted. I'm sitting there going, you watch, you watch. This will be like the Man United goal all over again. We're going to get shafted. Um, and and the goal stood. And as I say, the the chief potato seller, Mister Lineker, um, couldn't understand it. Well, you know, well, it's not a case of understanding. It. It. He's a he's a um he's a he's a very biased commentator. And Do you uh, think? If, uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, very much so. Um, him and him I just and he was a going backwards and forwards. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'll come back to okay. that in a minute. Um, we haven't started, even, Ken. We haven't ignored you. We, we're keeping. No, it I reserve. haven't ignored it. I'm coming back to it. Don't you worry, you handsome man. Um, we started. I, I will say that. Um, I will say that. Um, Mr. Lineker and Mr. Morgan went at it again today uh, on oh, Piers on Facebook, on Twitter. Yeah. Um, Piers put out a tweet about Odell Beckham Jr. The uh, the guy in the NFL, who uh, unfortunately was taken off injured and didn't return to the field last night. Um, okay. It's good to see a Beckham um, that's good at football playing, was what Mr Morgan put. So um, that then sparked a debate across Twitter. Um, yeah. To which someone, someone that I've never, I don't, I've never, you know, this is a big world, I've, I, this person cropped up out of nowhere. But he he had um, the same opinion of um, of Mr Beckham, David, as myself. Which is a great influencer of a team, great mm-hmm. leader. But what did he actually do? Could he head the ball? No, not really. Could he tackle? Most definitely not. Could he run the with the ball and beat people with pace? No. What could he do? He could take good free kicks and corners. 
and and, and good across. He, he he had a good passing range. Does he? Does that put him up there with the greats? And would he get into an all-time England team? If you're an picking on ability, 11? no. No, if you're picking purely on ability, I was no. like, hey, someone else feels the same. But they they actually use the word I wouldn't even <clears> consider Beckham world class. I've used those yeah. words before and got slapped around a bit. So to see someone else come up with the um, with that phrase, I was like, oh, okay, it's not just me then, you know. I, I don't consider David Beckham to be um, among the world greats. I, really I think don't. he made the most uh, of his talents. I think he was a very hey, talented listen, footballer. Listen, I'm surprised. Listen, that man would still be playing now, Rob. If, like in NFL, you had a specialist team, if you could bring, yeah, there are Ken's right, Ken's right, mm. his last day, yeah, all, all by the hype of, um, I think, possibly even the Greece Cup, the free kick. Um, if, if we could bring on a special team where, you know, you could have someone taking free kicks like they do for the penalty kicks and the punts and everything else in NFL, Becker would still be playing now just to take. He kicks. There's no two ways about it. He'd still be going. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, Lineker, Lineker for me, if it doesn't fit his agenda or Spurs, because let's be honest, Spurs lost yesterday, and mm -hmm. he's there going, oh, the shit, West Ham. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I kept expecting to see Marty Zebra. Um, from Madagascar 2 rock out or Madagascar 3, whichever the ones, the circus one. It was just embarrassing. And we listen, we're West Ham fans, we know embarrassing. Like, we've been on the receiving end of some of them, you know, the, the, the 6 0 um, against uh, City Oldham. in the Cup. And, oh, yeah. You know, the, I've, I've seen some, you know, yeah, uh, you, you could go back even further than that, but. Um, He's there not wanting us to gain anything on them because they lost again, you know. So that's the only reason he's there going to sand ball. If that had been in their Spurs shirt and he's screaming for a goal if that gets disallowed and he's saying that VAR and everything else against the Spurs. So, you know, I, I, let, him, let him live his own little stupid world. Let him have his moment. Right. I'm now going to touch on it. I'm going to Steady. bring the man's comment up. You know, oh, oh you, that's what you're going to... Sorry, I thought you were going to touch a part of your anatomy. I was going to say, not on a Love live it. stream. You are so disgusting. It's unbelievable. That happens afterwards. Um, ah. That's once we stop going live. Um, you see what I have to put, put up with? You liar, you love it. Can I put this earlier? Oh, you've just taken it off. Sorry. Where is it? Hang on. You on about this one? This one. One has to go, Bowen or Rice. In the summer, because then he followed it up with another one 12 minutes later because we hadn't spoken about it. You have to choose one to play and one to go. I'll let you go first, Rob. It's like I've already made my, my favorite... decision. It's like asking me who's my favourite child, honestly. Libby, we know that. It's fine. Shut up. Don't tell her that. <laughs> Um, well, Rice, Rice would be the more, the one that would raise more funds. And to be honest, we probably need to do an awful lot of surgery in the summer. So from that point of view, it would probably be Rice, wouldn't it? Hey, this is, this is yours. You, you take this. But then, I'm, I'm, but I'm then there's, but then, I don't know. I, I'd, I'd probably say Rice and that's purely from the point of view that, he would allow David Moyes more scope to go out and do some business. Um, I'm, I'm going to go Rice. It's probably it's probably it, it's it's a really awkward question. I, I I don't really want to give an answer, but I'm I'm going to have to go Rice. You ready? As much as it would break my heart. If I had to choose to let one go, mine would be Jared. Okay. 
Now, as much as it would break my heart to see either of them leave um, and to see Bowen walk out the door, as I said earlier in the chat, mm. if you if you if you let if, if Bowen's to well, if Bowen's to go, um, I, I'd be heartbroken. I would. I'd be heartbroken if both either of them left. But that being said, mm. I'd let Bowen go first, and the reason I'd let Bowen go is because. Let's say we get 75 million quid for Bowen. She promised me, I got a text message from her, Rob, that she said she wouldn't mention anything about Crocs. She lied. I, I worry about her. That's my, that's my only fan. Um, <laughs> um, I'd let Bowen go. If we get 75 million for Bowen, um, I think we have a better option um, come on. she says here would you sell Bowen even though Rice is leaving a year later if we could use 75 million pounds and knowing that we made a couple of bids for him in the summer because he is Rice's um, he is Rice's pick of a player for us to sign as I mentioned um, before Rice wants Phillips Rice wants Phillips at the club mm. now I think if we could listen if, if, if we get 75 million pounds to spend from Krasinski and we get to keep Jared Bowen and sign Calvin Phillips in the summer all day long all day long but if we had to for, for a reason to bring in Bowen uh, to be able to bring in um, Phillips to play alongside Deck, then I'd, I'd have to start. I'd, I'd let I'd let Jared go. Again, yeah. it would break my heart to see a man walk out the door, but I think you're right. At what now, Ian? Yeah, what Ian, that? that's cynical. Cynical. Probably, <laughs> probably a fair question to ask, but cynical. Um, I, I I just think that you know Declan Rice. Um, it, it makes it fair for this club. But I think he'd be the one. Um, he'd be the one I'd let. I'd let go. Out of two. I'd, I'd have to keep. I'd have to keep. Um, fair. Deck. To be fair, I want to keep them both. Um, but I will. I will fill you in with some information on um, the other side of of this channel, this chat, um, because enough. I think you'd be. I think you'd be quite interested to hear it. And then I may well, I may well um, unveil this news on one of the up and coming videos if I'm allowed to. Fair enough. Should we do player ratings? Let's do it. Okay, guys, in the live chat, if you want to join in with this, please feel free. We're going to give uh, players marks out of 10. No half marks, full marks only. So, Duke, we'll start with the man between the sticks, Lucas Fabianski. Seven. Okay, what's your reason? Um, no, it was just, it's just listen, it, 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 it was better than average. Um, it, 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 it did a job, and for anything less than that, I think it would be hard on him. Um, but I anything don't remember him really hard. doing too much, to be honest with you. No, he didn't have to, did he? and that was it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think he commanded, um, uh, you know, there was a lot of talking from him every time that you know, he's, mm. he's yelling for players to be in position and stuff. So he did the part of, of what goalkeepers should be doing. But I have to say, uh, yeah, there wasn't much else. So I can't really go high. Can't mm. really go any lower. I think that'd be harsh. Look, the girl, the girl agrees with me. She knows quite makes sense. Yeah. Well, Rob, uh, Ian's gone six, six, seven. Yeah. It's, it's somewhere around that, isn't it? It's in the um, area, the, isn't it? Yeah. It, it, I'd, I'd say that's going to be uh, that where where we're looking at. Um, let's go, Aaron Cresswell, shall we? I'm gonna he go did. He again. did fresh. He did. I'd be honest, yeah, I, I honestly thought he might have, he might have got there. Um, uh, I'm going to go six for Crest. I was going to say seven, but he gave the penalty. Um, he was at four yeah. for the penalty, so I'm going to give him a six. He did all right. Also got out jumped for the second goal. Yeah, but again, he's, he's not the tallest fella. If the op was, no. you know, like I say, two foot further back, he gets a, he, he gets the faintest of touches on that and takes it away from... Uh, from the goal scorer. Oh, 
Yeah, that's a, that's a, well, I'd, I'd like to see what your score is for, for Kufau. Funny feeling we're going to get there. Than that. We will get there in a minute, Ian, but keep your powder dry. But he's gone four for Cresswell. I, I would have probably gone five. You know, I'd so like to think four, five, away the I mean, Happy's gone six. Um, just to sort of go back a little bit. Uh, Rob's gone eight for Fabianski. Um, yeah, I, I think that's probably, uh, I think eight's probably stretching it myself. I'd have probably gone six or seven, but uh, Kent's gone five for Cresswell. Rob's gone four for Cresswell. Uh, Ian said, he's, yeah, Cresswell's crossing was poor, to be fair. I mean, you could blame it on the conditions, but it's the same for all the players, isn't it? So let's let's go um, let's go to Issa Diop, the, the late replacement for um, for Kurt Zuma. What were your thoughts on uh, where he's in? I, I'm going with an eight. Eight. I'm going to go with right. eight. As I say, um, he, he, he positioning for their second goal. I like say, couple of couple of couple of foot third back. It's a different story. Probably mm. even gets himself a nine based on that. The through ball for the goal was absolutely majestic. Absolutely on the money. Loved loved that pass. I even I even shouted that. That's fucking the as as as, <laughs> as 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 he scored as uh, as as Bowen put the ball in the back of him. It. Um, Proved, uh, proved a lot of his haters wrong yesterday. Proved Fair a lot enough. Of his wrong yesterday, I feel. Fair enough. Um, just just looking at this, uh, why do people blame Brim Rama when look at Blasic? To be honest, I think the last few times I've seen Blasic, he's been very, very disappointing, but They've both can't been lie. Disappointing of late. But he's, he's uh, West, West Ham Irons 21 has given Diop a 9. Um, Neil's gone a five for Cresswell, uh, marginally better than Kufal. He's, he's he's gone early. He's he's already given Kufal a four. So and he's up in a minute anyway. And he's, uh, yeah. yeah, Kent's gone. Diop is an eight, very close to a nine. Rolls Royce performance. So fair enough. Uh, yeah. Um, will the real real uh, Blashich please stand up? Uh, Craig Dawson, the 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 guy who got the equaliser. Uh, seven. Um, I think his positioning for their second goal puts a little bit more pressure on uh, Issa Diop because he's obviously he's not exactly in prime position, prime location for where he should be, which then obviously means that um, uh, Diop finds himself a little bit further forward than I would have liked. So, But again, he gets the goal. Um, I, I, I give him seven. Fair, fair. Now, now we'll come. This is this is where we'll we'll be quite interesting. Uh, people in the live chat, we've already got um, a couple of you guys that have uh, given Kufal Mark Neil from down under just to bring that up. He went four. Uh, Mister Singleton's gone. Kufal was a three. I got a funny feeling that it could be in and around this sort of level. What what do you think, mate? If I could give him a zero, I'd give him a zero. Uh, I, I just think he was so far out of his depth um, against uh, Harvey Barnes down that wing that I'd hate to... And no disrespect to Harvey Barnes, but he didn't know Erling Haaland. And if we draw bloody Dortmund in the cup in the Europa League, Sufal will get absolutely battered against mm. someone like that. I, I agree with Ian. I'm actually going to go with the two. Um, wow, it'd be nice enough to him, but uh, he's lucky. He's lucky, and the one. He's lucky, and the one. Yeah, and and West Ham Irons has gone to two. Yeah, I, I I was a little surprised it was it was Fredericks and not Johnson, but I think as as you said earlier, I think it was probably the pace of Harvey yeah. Barnes that was probably the, the determining factor as to why it was Fredericks and not Johnson, but. There you go. Um, yeah, it wasn't wasn't a great showing from him. I don't even think it was a particularly great showing from his compatriot, Thomas Socek. Let's go to him next. Five. To be honest with you, I, 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 again, I don't know what's going on here with the two boys. I mean, you, you talked to me earlier in the season and Socek was a, 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 you know, he was a 60, 70, 75 million pound player. Yeah. End of last season. Um, 
for me, I, I'd actually say that this season is probably not even looking like we can recoup, recoup the the money that we actually fogged out for him initially. Um, mm-hmm. but that that's my concern this season. Um, but no, I, I five yeah. Yeah, I. I, I looked at his stats earlier. I don't know if you saw him as I was putting them up. He his pass completion was fifty percent. That's that's shocking. Absolutely Sorry. shocking. Sorry. Um yeah, I I I would have probably given him a four. Um I thought he was really ineffective. Um I know he he, he won a fair amount of aerial du- duels, but you know, I just I just I want to see more from him. Do you know what I mean? Um, he's nowhere near the player that he was. Well, I, I say last season. I would probably say the first half of last season because I think basically when Lingard walked through the door, his role changed a, a slightly there to accommodate Lingard. And his role has changed this season again to try and get a little bit more of the attacking um, influence out of Declan Rice. But for him... It's just, it's just not worked out. He's not the same player. No, and it's, um, it's we're getting to a point, Rob. Where, what do we do? What do mm. we do? Yeah. Well, there was, a, there was a, a one that Gonzo put out a little while ago, where, you know, we try and keep one player happy at the expense of the other, and it could be that ultimately, at the end of the season, we lose both of them, and uh, and that is the doomsday scenario for me that we're trying to keep Declan Rice happy at the expense of Thomas Socek and we get to the end of the season and we actually lose the pair of them anyway. This is the problem, isn't it? Mm. So let's let's come to him next then, shall we? Declan Rice. Again, um, I, I think he makes it look so easy. I'm going to put him on a seven because mm-hmm. I felt that he... Um, I, I really do feel that he was... Um, He, he was restrained by the performances of the other players around him. Fair. Um, and, we, and we really are relying on this man too much now. We really are beginning to rely um, on, on the man's his, his ability um, mm. to, to drag us out of shit. Um, yes, and to be fair, that's, that's the issue. Is we, we, we're, we're hoping that Rice can put in the nine every game. And, and unfortunately, he was his score was dragged down because he was affected by the players around him. Yesterday. Well, he made a, a good drive in into the opposition final third towards the end of the the second half, as I remember. After the penalty, um, he got forward. He played the ball out to the left. I think it was to Pablo Fornells. He's played the ball in, and I'm trying to remember. I think it was Cresswell. The ball came to. Well, yes, it was. It was Cresswell, and he got a shot away on goal. And it was it was. Lanzini that got in the bloody way, but yeah, I, I thought Rice had a, had a decent game. I I, I, th- I agree with you. I think that he um, he wasn't helped by by some of the performances of the players around him, but uh, you know, like you say, it, it's sort of it is it's getting to it's sort of like it's strange, isn't it? You know, you you sort of like you give a seven at for Declan Rice, and you say that for for a player of his quality, that's a that's almost a subpar performance. Do you know what I mean? I'm not trying yeah. to say that he played crap, but, you know, for someone that you sort of like, you're so used to just seeing him turn out eights out of 10, nine outs of 10 every week, that when he sort of like, he gives a seven out of 10, which for other players, you sort of say, that's a pretty decent mark. For Declan Rice, you're judging him by a different standard. Do you know what I mean? It's like, hmm. But there you go. Let's uh, let's go to Pablo Fornells. Six. I, I just don't think he affected the game like I, you know, I, I like he has done previously. You know, he's energetic. He's he's, he's full of running. I just didn't see that yesterday. I didn't see you know. Look mm. at the the ball for Rice's goal yeah. uh, against Kidderman the higher camp. Um, it wasn't that there was none of that there. Yeah, but Ian's gone. He says blow blow average performance. It's given him a five. Mr. Singleton's giving him a six. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say it was, yeah, and Trev's giving him a five. 
uh, didn't get into the game. Yeah, he, he was fairly peripheral, I thought. Um, how you doing, Trodge? Uh, oh, Dan's back. It, it was Dan, wasn't it? I'm, my mem my memory is terrible. You have to forgive me. I'm sure it was it was Dan, wasn't it? Um, it, it for those of you that are, that are sort of looking and thinking, Who, who's this? This is this is a newbie. Um, this is a, a friend and colleague of uh, Chris from Leicester Till I Die. So um, we're going to get him on the on the on the channel one day when when Burnley next cross swords with uh, the the battle of the teams in claret and blue. Um, Deserved a point in that game, as we did we against Liverpool, but not to be for us. Yeah, like I always say, sometimes you are the statue, sometimes you are the pigeon. Um, Happy's gone a six for um, Pablo Fornells. I, th I think that's... I think that, that bottle of wine that she's had, I think he's getting to her, because I don't think he rats by her. <laughs> Listen, no, the... Who knows? Listen, I'm 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 not picking on her. I'm 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 leaving her alone. Yeah, you know she's, like. she's going to kick your ass. You know, you know what she's like when she's had a couple of sherbet. She's a little bit, little bit tasty, sort of kicking me round the shins and things like that. So yeah, because you can't get any higher. You may very well say that. I could not possibly comment. Manuel <laughs> Lanzini. Now, bear in mind, bear in mind, you might upset her with this next mark. Um, I'm, I'm six. Sorry, Haps. Um, <laughs> six. Uh, again, I, I just felt he was just as ineffectual as, as Pablo, unfortunately. Um, I, I, I like Lanzini, I do. Um, but I just, Rob, am I looking over your shoulder or are you looking at mine? Yeah, I Um, you you are she's 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 statuesque statuesque, I think is the word I'm looking for. She's stunning. <laughs> Behave. Star. Yes, I was going to star that one and use that in a minute. But yes, Cyber, I I'd, I'd I'd, I'd take six or seven for this rate. Yeah, yeah, especially if we won the Europa League. I mean, don't forget that. I mean, that'd be hey, a magnificent season. I'd take 10th if we won the FA Cup or the Europa League. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I won't lie. Yeah. Yeah, it is, Dan. L listen, I, I'm crap with names. As I say, I've got to get to sort of know people, meet people once or twice before sort of like the name really sinks in. So I was thinking, I knew it began with a D. And I thought, was it Dan? Was it Dave? Was it... Oh, I thought I could cock this up and really sort of like make yourself look like a plum but there you go now we'll we'll get you on mate don't worry like i say next next time we uh we cross swords in the premier league um we'll we'll get you, you on buddy. No problem. Swords with Dan, did you say? not like that i said burnley oh. and west ham cross swords Sorry. You know? I misunderstood. So, that's my mistake Sorry, oh hang on hang on what's this i'm gonna get challenged on geography now am i oh christ um kent's oh, gone six hey what I was going to leave it to Tyber to test you on your oh. geography. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's, there's one person that's, um, that's, that's strategically missing from this Lanzini, uh, this Lanzini um, rating here, Gates. I don't know if you've noticed. She suddenly disappeared. Either that or she's dropped the phone in the bar. I, I, I think she's, uh, she's taking the fifth. So, no, hang on. No, 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 hey. no. To, be, to give her a... To give her a dues, um, yeah, but, but you got to give him a mark out of ten. Happy, come on, don't, don't, don't happy, obfuscate your. Man in don't, no, come on, happy, please, come on. You got, you got to. You and know, he's the sexiest man in Leicester. But what about um? What about, what about Lineker? No, he isn't in. He isn't in Leicester. He's down. He's down on the south coast. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's down in Dorset. Oh, so. Uh. Kent saying he'd rather win the FA Cup. Yeah, the traditionalist in me would, but in in terms of the finances that, that the Europa League would bring because it gets into the Champions League, it has to be that, I guess. Um, just uh, hang on. The only area you made was to associate. With... Listen, that uh, I apologise if I've offended anyone. I like I say, I. Oh, I bloody he said on me crocs now. He I, he, so he told me you were mates. He told me you were mates. Um, but there you go. Where's this? Where's this uh, yeah, I, do you know what? I he, he sent me a message the other day, he did Cyber. 
And he went, oh, I'm going to ZSL. And I'm like, where's that? And he's gone, London Zoo. And I'm like, then just tell me you're going to London Zoo. I'm like, I've never it's heard of it. What's, what's ZSL? What does that even mean? Zoological Society in London. Okay. Yeah. But it's London, it's London Zoo. Hey, listen. Just call it London Zoo. Yeah. Happy's in the chat flirting. I think she's flirting with her. I don't know what's going on. Oh, is she? Yeah. Look, aye, she's aye. Standing, she's standing, he's, he's a well funny dude. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Oh, she's given she's given Lanzini a seven, which I think's quite, you know. I, hang on. I, I, you know, she, she's flirting with Dan. Well, she's never flirted with either of us. What's going on? Hang on. Hey, listen, I'm quite happy she didn't flirt with me. Because ah. if I had to flirt back, I'm very much like Joey Tribbiani. If I started flirting, she did. It's not going to be able to resist that shit. You know what I mean? I, this came over for her. Fair enough. Okay, Jared Bowen. Do I too highly of myself. Jared Bowen. Yeah. He's on fire. Seven point nine. No, you can't give points. So you, you're going to have okay. to make it a seven or an eight. Uh, a lower level eight because Diop got my man of the match on eight. So it's a lower level eight. So he's an eight minus and you've given Diop an eight plus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Essentially. I can go with that. Okay. I can go with that. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, Ian's gone an eight for Bowen. Quality goal. More service would probably have scored more. Just in top form. Um, do, you know, do you know the thing that worries me? And I know there's going to be uh, Mr. Singleton's gone an eight. Um, Happy's gone eight. Kent's gone all the way. He's gone nine. Um, the thing that worries me is if you move him from the position that he's basically played all season um, and, and play him as the nine, do you lose something from him? Do you know what I mean? Does he become slightly a, a square peg in a round hole? What, what do you think? Listen, he knows how to play up top. He's done it a couple of times for us. And even when Antonio plays, he tends to play up top on his own. Mm. And, yeah, um, I, I, I don't think it matters. Um, <laughs> oh, it's all going to be wrong. Oh, people mm. are getting themselves in trouble. Um, uh, this I is what happens when the wine starts flowing. If I may just jump in and take Cyber's comment, I'm actually going to give Bose a 10. Because <laughs> once again, Stephen he got Bowen on the telly, found didn't himself he? on telly, seeing his heart out, arms spread out. I love seeing it. It was brilliant. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. no, I, I might go back to your comment. I, I would have him up front. So who would you play in place of uh, Bowen on the right? Can't be Yarmolenko, can Rama. it? Okay. They, they can, listen, they can do a job out there. Fredericks. Fredericks is supposed yes. to foul. You, you know, so... Mm. You know, yeah, you, could, you could actually put... You could actually do a two-foul Fredericks job against uh, Maximum on Saturday. Like we did put against... Uh, like we did against Villa last season. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair. Uh, last player as a starting eleven, anyway. Um, Mr. Antonio. I didn't even think he was playing, was he? Uh, yeah, he he was a little bit missing in action, wasn't he? He looked quite frustrated from where I was sitting. Oh, sorry. Simon's going political. He's, he's, gone he's, political. Gone, he's gone full on political. <laughs> he's gone full on political. <laughs> I, I actually, I'd, I'd actually put. Um, oh, he's been quite generous with his Antonio, Mark. Bloody hell! Oh, mate, that's far too, isn't it? That's fine. Wow, was that a miss? Is that a misclick, Cyber, or you, is that serious? You, you've gone seven. Wow, I, I, happy, I think that's it's, incredibly it's, generous. Is happy talking about uh, Mo Salah, or is he talking about the score for Antonio yesterday? Yeah, hang on, hang on. The beast was minuscule. I don't know. Listen, I, I, I don't want to know about your love life, Happy. You know, that's, that's, that's I your... Think he's talk, I do think he's talking about Mo Salah and the uh, unfortunate situation that that man finds himself in this morning. 
Yeah, but go on. I've, 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 I've missed out on this. I've sort of heard Allegedly. it. Allegedly. Go on. Allegedly. Go on. He got his wang out on Snapchat. Did he? His little chip out of sausage um, found his way <laughs> on um... Mate, I ain't even joking. I've got a picture on my phone. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I, I, I'm going to do out. not Hang on. do not send it to me for Christ's sakes. It well, might make you feel inadequate. Hang on. Oh no, I won't do that. One one of the girls one of the girls made a comment that um one of the girls made a comment yesterday that it was um Mr. Average and I'm, I'm in luck. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, I was asking you a question. What's he asking? Do I remember? Yeah. <laughs> and see, so, yeah, uh, Tony does very much like, like, look, look like Nuno. I'm going to give you that one. Uh, Rob, it's on its way to you. Oh, um, have, a, have a quick butcher's uh, uh, mode there. He's a no, little land I, dagger. I didn't, Happy. Um, I'm probably going to regret he will now. this. I've just sent him, I've just sent oh, him the little land dagger. Jesus. It's on its way. He's is it, is, is, is this, is this a wind-up? Is he actually done No, it? no, no. This is... Listen, there was a load of there was a video doing the rounds of, of, no, that's, of all of no, these. No, that's 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 seriously no, that can't be. Jesus Christ! Yeah, seriously, it was, uh, that's that's Motella's chopper. That's Motella's chopper. <laughs> I feel Roses a bit better are red. now. Roses are red, violets are blue. Tottenham not spur nil. Wolverhampton Wanderers too. <laughs> Good um. What up, Milesy? I like that one. That was from Milesy. Thank you, sir. Rose is red. Hey. Poems are hard. Beer. Roses are red. Poems are hard. So am I. Fair enough. I wasn't. <laughs> dear, oh dear. The did you want, did you want to... King. Should we? Should we give oh, the subs a mark? We we'll give the we we'll give the subs a mark. Flash it. Yeah, go on. Screw it. Let's cool. do it. Go on. Give me, give me Vlashich. Give me your mark for um, him. I didn't realise he'd come on. Yeah. That's where I'm at with that. Didn't realise it come on. This may be controversial, but I think when Antonio pushes to the left, he takes the centre back with him and Bowen reacts to the space. Hmm. Fair enough. Sometimes. Hmm. Anyway, right. Where was I? Uh, yeah, so Vlasic, what are you giving him? Uh, I'm going to agree with Rob. I didn't even realise he'd come on. So you're going to give him zero? Four. Four. Fair enough. If he uh, came on, he came on, but I don't... Benny? Benny, um, uh, listen, Benny is an absolute enigma, and he drives me bonkers. Um, <clears throat> he has all the ability in the world to be an absolute star of this club. He really does, like... There are times when I get so frustrated, you know, the stop shooting. It, it's going 15 miles, you know, 15 rows back. Like, stop shooting. It's got to be a better option. I, I get you want to be the hero. Fuck it, we all want you to be the hero. Let's not dick around. It's, you know, mm. I, I, I want him to be, for us, what Watkins did last season for, for Villa. You know, mm. unfortunately... He's got to just start picking the right options. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with. I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the, um, I'm on the fence between sixes and sevens. I'm. Just... <laughs> you're even getting, you're even getting trolled by an opposition, an, an yeah, opposition it's... team's YouTube channel. That <laughs> uh, is what it is. I don't mind. I don't mind. I can, I can, I can do. Oh it. God. Cheers, Dad. You know, he's, 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 he's right on that cusp of being absolutely outstanding or, um, you know, fr frustratingly awful. But I'll, I'll, I'm going to dip between a five and a six for him. Uh, sorry, a six and a seven for him. Fair enough. Last one, Ryan Fredericks. I'm going to go six. He couldn't have done any better than, mm -hmm. any worse, sorry, than, than Sufal was with... Uh, with Harvey Barnes and whatnot, so I'll go to the six. Fair enough. Do you want to? Do you want to? Should we also mark the big fella? And I'm not talking about that it's photo. Right, you sent me clearly. 
<laughs> Rob was that, 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 that ain't a big fella, let me tell you. Um, yeah, sure Mr. Moyes, go on. What, what would you give Mr. Moyes? Um, I'm gonna give Moyes a six yesterday, okay. For what? Um, For... And the reason I the reason I give him a six is I just feel he didn't react quick enough with the stubs. He didn't react quick enough with the you know the the fact that they changed their tactics um, and they, um, they 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 started crowding uh, midfield and stopped allowing Rice the ability to be able to come forward. He didn't react quick enough, and it frustrates me. Um, we, you know, he doesn't he doesn't trust the youth enough in the Premier League to give them a shot, to give them a run out, and it frustrates me. You know, I know a couple of people were talking about it earlier in the chat. I saw a few comments go up, and it just it just irritates me slightly that listen, Antonio and Antonio hasn't performed in about four or five games worthy of. Um, you know, worthy of being a first time, uh, a first team Premier League striker. He's not doing enough right now. It's, it's annoying me. Um, yeah, again, I agree with the guys there in the chat about he's, you know, he's leaving everything too late. Um, he obviously has faith with the guys that he's got on the pitch to try and do something when quite clearly they're not. Um, so, you know, I. I just, I'm, I'm, the fact that he's sticking his face within, you know, players like Antonio is, is really irritating the shit out of me because I, I really, listen, I, I, you know, he did it last year actually with, um, he did it last year with, was it Odebeco? And he brought him in, I think he means Crowell. He made um, United game. Um, yeah, he bought him on and then took him off again. But then Odebeco didn't train with the first team, so he didn't have a clue what he was doing. Now, if you've got the if you've got the youngsters in your first team set up, they've got to be training with the first team, not training with the under twenty threes because we know they're going to be playing with the under twenty threes. If they're training with the first team, your under twenty three coach can be there to watch them, or Moyes can report to the under twenty three coach and say, "Look, I'm not going to use them this week. You can have them." But if they're training with the first thing, they can be made aware of what the, the, they're going to need to be done if they come off the pitch. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I, I just think if he's, I want to see, I want to see um, Oko Flex. I want to see Sammy Perkins. You know, we haven't really seen him since um, Sammy Perkins Europa since League, the Europa yeah. League. You know, so can we? Can we just not? Can we like? I, I, I get people worried about the next Tony Martinez. I get people could be worried about the next, you know, Nathan Holland has, has been around in our under twenty three since he was twenty one. I think he's been there yeah. twelve years now, um, and it's just it's, it's it's getting quite frustrating that we we don't want to use these guys. So um, I say, yeah, I'll give him a six. I want to see I want to see the youngsters. I want to see Perkins get a run out for the last ten fifteen minutes of a game. Just offers something different. Offers something different. Is this apparently West Bromwich Albion don't like cats as one of their fans was singing the Zuma song when we played Watford? Have you heard the Zuma song, Casey? I've heard a few. I've heard a few. Have, have you, Which have one you are we talking? Got, um, uh, winning the Europa League, we'll sing this song night. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Heard that one. Yeah, heard that uh, one. And apparently we were throwing a, an inflatable cat around the Seen park. it. Yeah, I've seen it. And... And the newspapers and Sports Bible and everyone else has got hold of it, and we are being absolutely slaughtered in the press. They the obviously don't have a sense of humour, you know. Well, I'm not being funny, but us Brits, one of the few things that we do well still to this day is take the piss. Well, can I can I use a quote that someone put, and it was West Ham United fans, the skid mark of human society. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Goodbye. And that upset me a bit. 
So right, I've just I've just pulled the trigger on someone. I'm just he was on the other day, and I'm just like, oh, I'll go away. Oh, what, what, what happened there? I missed that. Uh, I no, just uh, just someone that comes in the chat, and he's just sort of you know, I'm like, yeah, I just can't be doing with it, mate. Oh, so let me have a go. I'm in the mood. No, 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 no. I, I like I like getting the. Uh, Getting the gun out every now and again when just sort of someone getting the bang yeah. hammer. That's going. That could yeah. be your wrestling name. Yeah, bang. Rob's have that. Bang See you later. Gate. Yeah. No, I'm not having it. Not having it. Just come on to take the piss. It's like, uh, why? Why are you? Why are you wasting your time watching a West Ham fan YouTube channel if you're just going to come here and and completely sort of yeah, be right. a complete cock about yeah. things? You know, fuck off and watch another channel. So there you go. Anyway, yeah, had to get that off my chest. I just just saw him pop up there. Huh? It looks like Rob saw it. Uh, yeah, I think he's, he's got an angry face going on. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, don't worry about it. Right, should we uh, wrap it up there, my friend? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to. I've got some bits off my chest. Um, yeah. It wasn't the greatest of performances, but there we go. We, um, we're, we're set. We're in a good place. Uh, we're still fourth, and we go in on survey. Cool. Anything you want to say before I hit end broadcast, my friend? You know what I want to say. I know what you want to say. Of course I do. We're, we're the skin mark of human society, apparently, but screw them, because we are fucking massive. There you go. Come on, you irons. 